So tell me about how the project started. Um, it literally started that I once stayed at the hotel and thought, wow, what an amazing stairwell. And I wanted to really do a, mm -hmm. an experimental piece on this stairwell, which also kind of freaked me out because it's, you know, to make a, a, a film about a staircase is kind of boring. Uh, <laughs> many experimental filmmakers have done such. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I, 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 I was just, I fell in love with the staircase and, um, but I was lucky that then Bettina passed by with her cart and she just gave me this piercing look which scared me so much that I thought, who's this woman? And she's, was, she's very small, she's about this, right? This, yeah, she, so she just piercing, piercing at me and I thought, I, 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 I got very fascinated by her and um, I slowly entered her life, very slowly and had to win her trust, obviously. Sure, sure. Yeah. So how long did you, uh, did you shoot the film and how long to edit? And when did you come into the process? I shot for two years um, and looked at my footage every time and understood what she was saying. A lot of the times I understood more when I was looking back than mm -hmm. when sure. I was actually shooting, which... Um, and you're then in the moment sometimes, and you don't understand the moment when you're in the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. It's always a, a delicate balance when you have a subject like that, how far to go, where you can find the place of getting the story you want and, you know, and how much you need to do. And I think this film really does strike a really good balance. And I'm sure that's something you struggle with all the time when you're shooting and in cutting. Yeah. It's like how to portray that. Yeah, there's always a question of uh, ethics. Um, how far can I go? How, why am I in this person's life? And why did it become my life? And okay. was this supposed to happen? Yes. And why? Just a lot of questions during the, the years, the year, uh, years that I was shooting. And I always had good um, people to talk to. My husband is always <laughs> someone who would say, no, continue. And, People at school said it too that I shouldn't stop, um, but there's always it's always a diff difficult balance to know how close you can get and to not uh, feel like the, so the scene, especially the scene with the cleanup, where Sam tells me to start cleaning up. Yeah. I think it really <laughs> says a lot about um, documentary filmmaking and how you sometimes really have to just do what you need to do and not. Yeah, so keep on shooting, but also help. Don't, <laughs> don't just st stand there behind the camera. Yes. yes. Uh, has she herself made, a, made any, any plan for what's going to happen to the art?